This is a short overview of atomic absorption spectroscopy, AAS. Please remember it's only used to identify metals in compounds. So for example, if you had sodium chloride, it would only be the sodium that was being detected. So for this sodium atom, which we have here, 11 electrons in their orbits, sodium being in group 1. The technique relies on light of a certain wavelength being shone through the sample contained in the metal atom. The idea being that some of the light is going to be absorbed by an electron as it jumps up to a higher energy state. This means that not all the light is passed through the sample, some is absorbed. A detector over here will notice the difference between what's transmitted and what's been absorbed. This is a typical setup for some atomic absorption spectroscopy. This is our transmitter. The light travels through the flame and any light transmitted collects on a detector here and the signal is put out on a TV monitor. This piece of apparatus is designed to suck up a solution of your sample. It gets mixed with a, a volatile and flammable gas so that when it gets into the flame it burns well and produces atoms of the metal that you're analysing. So, imagine you have a transmitted wave passing through the flame sample. Signal is going to here. Now in this case we have a solution of sodium chloride. As the sample gets drawn up and into the flame, these atoms and the right kind of state to absorb this light energy travelling through the apparatus. So this time, some of the light waves get absorbed by these atoms. This means your detector shows a absorbance which is shown on the computer monitor. We can see from this food label that sodium is mentioned as one of the ingredients along with potassium. And in this part of the chart, many metals are mentioned. We have calcium, iron, zinc, and so on. So the idea is that tiny traces of metals are important for our health. And we can use atomic absorption spectroscopy to analyze all sorts of materials from soil to blood to check the quantities of these minerals present and if they aren't there in the correct amounts then we can make changes to improve our health.